Yeah, so I tweeted out, you know, and he was questioning my degrees. As I mean, here's a guy who probably studied homosexual studies or journalism or, uh, you know, bathroom studies, by the way, which I put on the same level. Um, and so I said, where is his degrees from? Uh, what degree does he have to even question my credibility? And that went viral. And someone uh, called me uh, a curry nigger. OK, and I'm going to use that word. Let me tell you why I think he said this guy is a is a sellout curry Indian nigger. Now, so I tweeted back, we're all niggers on the uh, white liberal deep state reservation. And the reason you see what the white liberals have done is they have drawn a very nice bounded box of what is racism. So if you use the word nigger or if you change the name. So if you don't use that word and if you change the name of things, suddenly you've solved racism. You see what I'm saying? And the truth is we're all niggers on the white liberal deep state reservation. <laughs> and that word we should all embrace and use. And this is why I think we should embrace it, because it goes at the true heart of racism. Racism is not ceremonial things of stopping using words, changing names. It's addressing the fundamental economic issues, which is we're all on a plantation of white liberalism, neoliberalism. And the epicenter of that is Harvard University, which is a $40 billion hedge fund, which is where Elizabeth Warren resides, which is where all the Republicans and Democrats come out of. So we're at a very important point. And I think our campaign is, you know, we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of what racism is. There's racism against poor white people. There's racism against poor blacks, racism of what we've done to the Native Americans who still live on reservations. And that notion of racism is never discussed because a white liberal racist define it in two checkboxes. So they're the biggest racists. 